Good morning you two. Today we're carrying on with our shape work and we're moving into a slightly different area of shape. We're going to be looking at patterns. Okay, I love making patterns out of shape and I do think this lesson is a little easier than drawing those tricky shapes that we had to do yesterday. Okay, so to start us off, I put two shapes up onto the flip chart screen. We have a circle and we have a rectangle. And all I want you to think is what different ways could I reproduce these to make a pattern? Okay, so really simply, I could take, if I had the square and a rectangle, I could take a, sorry, a circle and a rectangle. I could take the circle next, follow up with a rectangle. The next shape would then be a circle followed by a rectangle. Super simple pattern that would continue and repeat. I'm going to look at some slightly more complex examples now. Okay, so here we have a pattern, and I just want you to have a think first before I do any talking. Have a little pause and think what shape comes next in the pattern. What do you notice about the pattern? Have a little pause if you need to. Okay, so we have these half circles here, hemisphere, and a triangle and a rectangle. And then if I look, the whole thing repeats again. There's the half circle, a triangle, and a rectangle. So can you see, I'm just going to underline these because it's possibly the easiest thing for me to do with the tools that I have here. These one series of the pattern, it repeats here, it repeats here. Okay, so we can use these patterns to predict what comes here. So I can see the half circle here. I can see the rectangle here, so the space in the middle must mean that the missing shape is a triangle. Okay, and to do it correctly, the triangle is with this vertex pointing downwards. Okay, and that's basically just showing you what we've done there, that the next shape is a triangle. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at some patterns using different shapes. So here we have patterns made entirely of circles, but they are circles of differing size. So we'd have to get the size precisely right. So they've already done the grouping for us. You can see a large one, a medium, and a, I nearly said a, a baby size one, a small one. Okay, large, medium, small, large, medium, small. So if I were to follow that, it would follow that it would be large, medium, did you guess small? If you did, you were correct. This pattern is using the same size shape and the same type of shape, but the only thing that has changed is the colour. Okay, so this is a pattern using shapes of different colours. And again, they've grouped them for you. We have a green one, a pale blue one, a pink one. So it would go green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink. Here we have a shape of rectangles, and actually these rectangles look like it might be the same shape, but it's just been rotated onto its side, okay? So we have what we call a vertical rectangle and a horizontal rectangle. Vertical rectangle and a horizontal rectangle. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. The one that's laying on its side. So that pattern used shapes and it just had them in different orientation. It was the same shape, but it just been rotated onto its side. 
this pattern is using different shapes and sizes. So again, pause if you need to, take a moment, think what that missing shape and what size shape it could be. Okay, in my pattern I see small square, large square, triangle, small square, large square, triangle, small square, large square, triangle, it's a mouthful, small square, large square, triangle. So your guided practice, you are simply going to state what the missing shape is in each pattern. Okay, if you attempt to draw those over the top or alternatively, if you have a parent or carer nearby who can do this with you, okay, you can simply tell them what is the shape in that pattern. Once you've completed that and you're feeling confident, it's going to be pages 55 to 56 in your workbook. And it looks like this. For the first view, all you have to do is simply circle the missing shape in the box. Okay, so you draw a circle around the missing shape. So look at the pattern. The, the patterns are a lot more complex now. And work out what shape of these four is the missing one. Again, this shape again is very much more complex than we've been looking at. Find out what the missing one is. And I think this one's a little more simple. Okay. Let's circle the missing shape. On these ones, you have to draw the shape that would come next. Okay. So where the question mark is, you will draw what shape that should be. Okay. Good luck with that and I look forward to seeing your work in your portfolios later for me to check over. Goodbye.